so I wrote this song. It's called Succubus, and it's a ukulele song. Um, and I made it on my computer, and I want to break it down. It's probably not going to be released um, for like months or a year or something, but it's on my SoundCloud for now. Um, just because I wrote it after this album that I put out. Um, but yeah, without further ado, this is Succubus. I was not the one you thought of when you said you loved me. I was just a speck on the timeline of justice in your head. I was just Alright, so I'm going to break it down. I'm going to start with the drums, because that's probably one of the most interesting parts of this. Um, so I took a lot of Foley sounds that I found just from like free sample packs and um, various places, and I just used them as drums. For example, this is like a ship creaking from some video game that I stole. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, and then the drums. So I really like to do a thing where I take really weird drum sounds and combine them with conventional drum sounds so that it's like really palatable, but it's also really interesting. So what's going on in the drums is um, we've got... So these are really interesting sounds. Um, let me show what's going on here. So this, I have a low pass because I, I didn't want to muddy it up, but this sound is really strange and I really like it. Um, it's from, let's see, what sample pack is that from? NT, oh, I think it's down here. NTHNL. There's a lot of really interesting nature sounds that somebody um, who else who did van life uh, recorded out in nature. And this, I guess, is from an ice cave or something. And they're all free to use. And it, it was just, I, I use this sample pack in a lot of my stuff because it just has a lot of really interesting stuff. I don't have any clue what this snare is. <laughs> um, let's see. What am I? I'm not editing it too drastically. But it, it's really interesting. So I, I layer that with, um, well, the snare I layer with this. So I've got 
pretty typical snare sound combined with <laughs> and then with the bass um it's layered with pretty typical bass sample i got that from ninth wonder which is also a really great free sample pack so uh with all the drum well with the the snare and the um bass combined we've got this And to keep it interesting, I um, I have some chain that I took from an ASMR video, and I, I use that to lead up to the snare to kind of make it really interesting sounding. I don't know. I, I have a thing that I like to do where I lead up to the snare. I don't know if there's a name for that, but it makes it feel a lot more intense when it hits. And so all of that with the creak is like... Ah. Ah. <laughs> I love 6-8 grooves. There's something about them that's just so magical to me. Um, yeah, they've got such a mysterious, interesting feel. So, um, there's other stuff going on in here. Let me just make sure we're still recording great. Okay. So, this is the bass. I have a drone because I um, I really just wanted that really kind of trance-like, mysterious feeling. And so, it's just a sign pad. And I took that from um, Zen Add Sub Effects, which is like the synthesizer that I use for just about everything in my music production. Like 80 to 90% of my synth sounds are from this synth. And it's got so many really interest, like really great quality sounds, um, and a lot of vaporwave sounds too. I really like that kind of dark, nostalgic, mysterious feeling. Um, so it's really great for that. But what's going on here is one of these is mono, and one of these is stereo. And I have that because, um, and I've got CAF stereo tools, adding it to mono i don't want bases that are that wide i don't want to make it unnatural so i still have the stereo track in there but i really like mono bases because they feel like a really good foundation for everything else on the in the track to sit on um so i've got that and while that is being mono i've got a uh, stereo ukulele i just recorded this twice and so it has a really like encompassing feel that everything can be between. got that layered with a guitar to like really emphasize the, the root notes but it's kind of hidden in there nylon string I don't want you to notice it. I just want you to feel it So the vocals are pretty simple. Um, let me just. I was not the one you thought of when you said you loved me. And then the double. I was just a speck on the timeline of justice in your head. So what we're doing with that is we're bringing out the ethereal highs, the like 12,000 hertz, which is kind of like. Uh, if you can really hear that i love that beautiful frequency right there and um so it's just a little bit of that a little bit of pop which is like a really intense compressor but we're only doing a little bit wet with that that brings it in, in front of everything else and then we've got a double which kind of makes it more structured somehow it kind of gives it more presence was just a speck on the 
So the last thing on the effect change, well, there's Zeta Reverb, which is like a really big and smooth reverb. Um, and then there's console. So console is on everything. And if you notice, none of the volume faders are adjusted. They're all the same thing because I'm using an analog console simulator. I really want something that feels like it's not from this time. Like I want something that feels really analog and organic and just it yeah and so i don't i can't exactly put my finger on what it does i've used it in a lot in like really simple tracks that i do but it's it's got like this kind of it adds a little bit of saturation it kind of takes out of the low ends a little bit it kind of takes out of the high ends but it kind of makes things like warm and fuzzy and it it really makes things really spacious and when they peak like when when um the kicks hit and it's like too loud for the master output like there's this like really warm natural crunching kind of sound rather than like a clipping and i like that so i've got that on everything um there's a couple other things like the harmonies uh, i really like having them on one ear and then having the same harmony on the other ear and so it sounds like a new harmony, but it's the same thing. And it's like, myself, I was never wait, let's, let's just do that. In myself, I was never satisfied in the puddle that you melted me. You took off like a businessman with a subpoena in his hand. And then everything goes to mono, which I, I've never done something like that before, but it's just so interesting. It's like, why? It's like so good. And then I've got, um, this wind that I found on a YouTube video, it's, I love Q-Tractor and Jack because um, this right here, I can use to record things straight from Firefox right into my DAW. And so this is like wind from a YouTube video. Edited a little bit, but I wanted it to like lead into having a stereo and then the kick hits. The kick is super, that ice cave bass is super wide and it's just like. The hope I'd find my missing pieces, but you returned like a hologram of Jesus in the night. And so this is a synth that I actually use that's not Zen. This is Vitalium, which takes a lot of resources. So I recorded Vitalium as a waveform and then got rid of the plugin. But um, it's probably the most advanced native Linux synth that I found. And I, I use it when I want really interesting sounds, like really electronic, like dubstepy kind of sounds. So that's just like a bass with a lot of overtones with some saturator and a filter that's kind of, yep, saturator, EQ, what's the EQ doing? Taking out the bass. I want it to sound like a hologram of Jesus in the night. Um, I think there's another cool thing over here. So when I got to this point in the mix, I was like, I don't know what this song is, but it sounds goth, whatever that means. And so I really want crows and like ravens or whatever. And I want them to sound like they're coming out of a box. And so I got some of that. <laughs> I just really wanted the mental imagery. So that's kind of in the background here. For the cure, like a scientist whose flesh is doomed. I was not the one you thought of when you said you loved me. Chains. I was just a speck on the timeline of justice in your head. I was just intoxicated by your inner dog. And then what happened? 
happens next is really cool. I really like making kind of big changes and then but like redirecting the listener's attention and then the changes happen while they're looking away. So it's like we have these go to from stereo to mono. We've got but there's a sigh. <laughs> feeling because it's a really dark song but I reintroduced a little bit of stereo at the end just to keep it interesting and take it out cool thanks for listening and thanks for watching that is succubus it's uh yeah it's on soundcloud and i don't know when that'll be released but that's how i mix that's my process